Hello and welcome, I'm Tony Wrighton and today we're going to be discussing a problem faced by 7 in 10 people in the UK every year. It's an incredible statistic and it's a real worry for so many people. It is back pain. Well joining me is Sash Newman who is CEO of the charity Back Care, a Dan Franklin leading physiotherapist from Back in Action and Dr Sarah Jarvis. But Dan I want to ask you, I mean as a physio if in, in the first instance you get back pain, is it rest or exercise or a little bit of both that you might want to try? You could term it active rest. You don't want to be doing things that you don't normally do. So it's not a case of getting out there and, and uh, running 10 Ks if you don't normally do that. But the days of bed rest are long gone. And in fact, uh, bed rest is, is detrimental to your health and detrimental to your back pain. So you want to be keeping yourself as active as you would normally be. With back pain, this is a normal part of life. And in fact, when you feel it, in most cases in our society, it's probably a wake-up call to actually do more, do more. Yes, do uh, ra better. rather than do less. We're going to look a little bit more at that now. Sarah and Dan, we're going to head over there and you're going to show us some uh, tricks of the trade and some things we can do to help our backs. Now, in a moment, we're going to be talking about uh, the correct way to, to lift heavy objects. But before that, Joe, you've been suffering with back pain for quite some time. Tell us exactly how it occurs and what kind of symptoms you get. High heels are just the end of the world for my back. Also, lifting, when you've got children, not just lifting children, but the rubbish and detritus they leave around the place, constantly picking up after them. Anything heavy, I have to be really careful how I pick it up. Well, we have our resident doctor here, Dr. Sarah. Uh, you're the perfect person to ask, Sarah. Take it away. Show us exactly how to lift something heavy. Well, you're absolutely right. So often when we lift, we don't think about it. And in fact, it's almost more of an issue when we've got things that maybe aren't quite as heavy because then we're going to be tempted to turn around to twist and lift. And twisting and lifting is always a complete no-no. But what we're trying to do is to get absolutely straight in front of it. We used to say that all the lifting was done from your knees, uh, from, from your knees, so you, you bent the knees only and you kept the back completely straight. What we realise now is that if you go down like that, you're actually putting so much pressure on your knees when you're coming up that you can actually do more harm than good. So now it's kind of a combination of the two. You're doing some of the bending from the knees, some of the bending from your back, but you don't, absolutely don't, right. bend down and lift it up like that. So the legs are going to be firmly planted, so you're giving yourself a firm base. You're quite close up to the box, and then you're going to bend quite low down like this, so that you're actually doing some of the lifting from the back, some of the lifting from the knees, mm -hmm. and you're straight. Okay. Okay? Yeah. But not like that. And don't forget, don't do it when you're putting things down either. So you're going to be going down like this as well. Right. Not okay. down with straight legs. Fine. Okay, then. So bit closer up to the box. That's the one, yeah, and right in front of it. So ideally, that's pretty good. Yeah, it felt very comfortable. Yeah. Did it, was it good, good on your back as yeah, well? It was very good on my back. Yeah. yeah. You know, and uh, I could feel it sort of in other areas, which is probably quite a good thing. Well, it's good for the back. Yeah, it's toning. <laughs> toning, very good. Okay. So now it's back again. Don't way. be tempted to bend it down that way. Because by the time you get there and halfway down, and remember, it's going to be too late because you'll be putting the strain on your back already. Perfect. Textbook. Sarah, thank you very much. Okay. Joe, very good lifting. Now we're going to uh, bring Dan back in and show you a few exercises on how you could uh, look after your back and strengthen it as well. OK, Dan's back. Now, Dan, you're going to show us some exercises. And ideally, uh, Joe would like to see a couple of exercises, some for when the back is hurting mm. sure. and some for when it's not hurting, but just to kind of strengthen the back and, and the whole kind of area to make sure that you can prevent back pain from occurring. Sounds good. I can ask you just to lie down on the mat here. So when you're first having pain, you need to keep yourself moving. And so gentle stretches of the back are one way to do that and also can be quite relieving in terms of your pain. So from that position, if you just take one knee up towards your chest, that's it. And just with your arms, just hug it up towards your chest. And you should get a bit of a stretch maybe in the left-hand side of your lower back. Come back down again. Repeat the same on the other side. That's good. And you're just pushing into some stretch. You don't want to go into a lot of pain. You can just stretch it into, um, into a little bit of resistance. And now if you're feeling up to it, both knees. So one knee, yep, and just hugging up 
How's that feel, Joe? It feels lovely, actually. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes even just a little bit of rocking side to side in that position mm -hmm. is really quite comfortable when you're in pain. Yeah. Next position, if you take your legs back down again carefully, this is again for when you're suffering from pain more so than a preventative exercise. It's not hard enough for the preventative stuff. We'll get into some harder stuff in a minute. For this one, you keep both knees together and you just rock to one side. So have your hands out maybe a little wider to give yourself some balance and just gently taking yourself, and you can feel that twist through your spine there. We're just trying to encourage normal movement and get those muscles that are locked up to relax. So come back the other side. That's perfect. So that's just two of the exercises that I would possibly give you if you came in to see me in the clinic with, with a new back pain. Just take your feet apart a little bit. We're aiming for hip width and a nice comfortable knee angle. You comfortable there? Yeah. From here we're going to engage the stomach muscles. So I'll ask you to tighten your lower abs, keep your back still, no movement of the back, and this time you're going to float one knee up to about my hand here. Nice. Keep breathing as we do this, don't forget to breathe, very important part of exercise. This is where it starts to get hard. If you draw in through there and now lift this second leg up, excellent. Keeping it tight, drop one down at a time. I'm going to show you one more, this time more for uh, the back side of things. Get you onto your hands and knees if you would please. Great. To do this exercise we want to keep your spine in what we call neutral. Now Joe is particularly good at finding neutral, that's perfect. Uh, for those of you at home, what you want to do is to arch your back. So arch up as if you were a camel. Good. And now come right down as if you're a cat stretching. Keep going, keep going, good. Now I want you to find somewhere in between the two. So coming back up, and that would be a neutral. That's perfect. Okay, from there, what I want you to do, again, drawing your abs in, because they're key to, to back health, I want you just to float one arm out in front of you. Perfect, and you're trying to keep yourself as stable as you, as you can. Imagine you've got a, a coffee mug on here and you're trying to keep yourself as still as you can. And come back under, good. Keeping your stomach in. This time take one leg out behind you. Good. Trying that to keep that looks quite hard work. Joe, how are you finding it? No, it's fine actually, no problem. Now if, like Joe, you're finding this quite easy, you can make it harder again, of course. Ah, you see, trick question. Bring the knee back under. <laughs> There's always something harder with a physio. <laughs> yeah. From here, again, tighten through your stomach. This time I'm going to get you to lift this arm up, and now with the opposite leg, float that out the back. And obviously this is a much more difficult balance act. Joe's making it look easy, but this isn't easy. Just tuck your chin in there, Joe, so you're keeping yourself nice and neutral. And come back in. And obviously you repeat this on the other side, and uh, you would be able to hold it for longer and longer periods and more and more stable as you, as you get better. And, and presumably that's providing a kind of stretch at the same time. There's not a strong stretch in this position. It's more muscles. So it would be back muscles working, it will be glute muscles working, shoulder muscles working, and because we've asked Jo to hold her stomach in, the stomach and core working as well. Jo, thank you very much. <laughs> you've, uh, you've been a wonderful subject. Thank you. And you said, I like the way you said that you weren't finding that, you didn't find that too bad on those? No, no, I, no. I didn't. It was fine. There was no. no back pain with it at all, so yeah. that was great. And in fact, um, some, some of the exercises you did earlier, did they feel good on the back as well? Yeah, they all felt very reasonable, especially some of the rolling and the stretching movement. Where I do get low back pain, that's exactly, that stretch feels so comfortable and so nice to do. You've got your exercises, you've got your stretching, you sort it. I am.